In this section we're using the postural analysis machine and we're using what we call the postural set muscles. These are the major muscles that are keeping the, the spine and the body in the upright vertical competent position. So what we find with the spinal analyzer machine is it'll show any skeletal misalignments. So with these muscles, the uh, trapezius and the sternocleidomastoid, which is at the front, the latissimus dorsi, the piriformis and the source, which is also at the front, they are constantly part of the uh, limbic brain mechanism to keep the body vertically competent and upright. Any stresses that are imposed on the body always affect the sacroiliac joint which is basically the junction between the iliac bone here and the sacrum, which is basically here. The latissimus dorsi immediately has to try and delimit the vertical assault on the body and it will start to pull and lock this shoulder and lock this first rib as the body's first attempt to coming back to vertical competence. So with the postural analysis machine, if Chris had a postural distortion, he might have a high shoulder because of a weakness in the latissimus dorsi of the trapezius pulling up in opposition to that, the piriformis trying to correct the pelvis, the psoas and the sternocleidomastoid muscles also trying to correct. And we would record these by having a high shoulder, maybe a misalignment on the spine and a misalignment on the pelvic bones. And then we can analyse with orthopaedic follow-up uh, the exact uh, reasons that why, that why that's doing that and which joints it's affecting. So we've got the, the spine, the upright spine, and from the back obviously it appears straight but from the side, it has three curves in it, which again, are very important for the competence of the upright bipedal man. The psoas muscle comes from the front of five lumbar vertebrae, and actually it's the only postural muscle that's actually attached to the annular disc material. So therefore, when there's spasms, it can not, not only produce misalignments in the spine and the pelvis, but can also pull a disc out of position, producing what we would call classically a slip disc. As the psoas muscle does that, and the latissimus dorsi is trying to correct also the posture from this misalignment of the sacroiliac, the piriformis muscle starts to pull the pelvis laterally to try and counterbalance it again, and this actually tra traps the sciatic nerve, giving classical symptoms of sciatica and pains down the leg, which is the most common problem that uh, we treat. With the postural analysis machine, we can measure again these misalignments and also the weight distribution on the bilateral scales, so that Christopher would, would measure on one side a different ratio of weight than on the other. That shows that he's actually tipping his body and twisting his body in proportion to the verticality of the spine. Um, this is depicted in these pictures here. This is a normal aligned pelvis with a straight spine. And this is a sacroiliac strain showing, again, some of those misalignments that we can record on the posture analyzer. <laughs>